Hey guys, it's Ariva and I'm back with another tutorial. So today I wanted to shoot a really quick get ready with me. So I just posted Aliana's birthday vlog and this is the look that I did the day of. This is kind of my go-to hairstyle because it looks super, super fancy, but it only takes a couple of minutes to do, which is ideal for today because I don't want to spend all day getting ready and I just want to enjoy the party and have fun. Um, so I'm going to very, very quickly show you guys how to do this up style. So the outfit that I'm wearing is going to be a Pakistani lenga. I'm wearing the top half um, and I'm wearing sweatpants on, on the bottom right now. Uh, but I'll show you guys the final look, but this hairstyle is like, ideal for like South Asian clothes I feel because it just gives you that like that sexy shape that just like goes with the whole vibe um, so it's super super easy so right now I am on like second or third day hair my hair is like super frizzy the curls are falling out um, and it doesn't matter you can start with any texture that you have in your hair your natural texture curls waves even pin straight hair so I'm going with my natural texture because like I said, I want this to be super, super easy, breezy and fast. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the top of our head and we're gonna go on the arches of our eyebrows right there, okay? And we're gonna go straight back all the way to the crown and you're creating a horseshoe section on the top of your head, okay? And you don't want it to be like too far down. Make sure it's on the top of your head, the section, okay? If it starts to go off to the side, it's not gonna be very flattering. Keep it on top of your head, okay? So you guys can see it's on the top of my head, it's not on the side of my head and that's what you want. Okay, so once you have your horseshoe section, I'll show you guys the back, kind of looks like a perfect horseshoe. We're just gonna clip it away. Okay, so this next step is super, super easy and fast. All you're gonna do is go to the back of your horseshoe section and curve a section down behind your ear like that, okay? And you can see I'm not being perfect. I'm doing it with my fingers. You don't need to be perfect for this at all. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just a quick section in the back, very, very rough, okay? So now that we have our two sections here, we're gonna tie them up, okay? And for this, I like it to be really nice and sleek. So I'm gonna give it some hairspray. You can also use um, gel or um, a cream-based product, whatever you like. I'm using hairspray just because my hair usually really needs the hold. And you're gonna wanna slick this back nice and clean, okay? And then we're gonna do the same thing with this half. We're gonna give it a quick spray. And we're gonna grab either a fine tooth comb, um, or in my case, I'm using just a teasing comb because the bristles are super, super fine and it just gives me a really clean finish. And again, we're gonna brush everything back. So you want this to be nice and high, the ponytail. You don't want it to be low in the section because then it's not gonna give you a, a very sexy shape. You want it to be nice and high. So you see how I'm, I'm tying it? towards like the top and not drooping it and tying it low. Tie it nice and high, okay? So that we have this kind of half up hairstyle, okay? So now that we're up nice and tight, we're just gonna take our clip out of our top section here and we're just gonna drop it back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take this section and we're gonna push it forward and starting at the back, we're just gonna give it you're gonna just take some small sections from the back and you don't need to do a tight tease for this at all. We're just gonna do a very gentle tease. So I'm gonna take my teasing comb and I'm just gonna fluff the hair up at the roots ever so gently. We're not doing a tight tease for this at all. Okay, and this last one here I'm not gonna tease it. I'm just gonna put, place it back because there's enough cushion on there and I want this to remain kind of textured. And your best friend for this is gonna be hairspray. So, so now that we kind of have our shape, we're just gonna hairspray it just to keep everything kind of in line, okay? Now that we're all hairsprayed, we're gonna grab some hair pins. You can use bobby pins for this, but I personally like going in with these. 
So these are hair pins as opposed to bobby pins. You can use either, these are just a preference for me. And you're basically attaching this top section of the hair into the bottom section of the hair. So you're gonna put the top part of the pin on the top curls and you're gonna put the bottom part of the pin into the base on this side. So it's gonna connect both sections, okay? Just gonna slip it in. Basically the whole idea is that you want this section to hide the ponytail that we created, okay? That's basically the whole goal of this section. And it's supposed to give us obviously a really nice small hockey, uh, faux hockey look. So this is basically kind of the rough idea. Um, this whole, like shape will sit a little bit better once the other side is uh, pinned up as well. And now I'm doing the same exact thing on the other side. The whole idea here is to attach the freestanding curls with the tight base that I put into a ponytail. So I'm putting one half of my hairpin into the base and the other half onto the top loose curls to attach both sections to create a basically unified shape. Um, and you just wanna play around with it until it looks like what you want. Okay, and then for those front pieces, obviously we can't utilize any pins because we don't wanna mess this up. So we're just gonna go ahead and spray it in. So sometimes I've done it where I've done like a second ponytail here to really get the mohawky look, but I wanna leave it down today because I kind of want it to feel more like a little bit fuller. Okay, so now I'm gonna very quickly put my jewelry on. And this is the final look. What do you guys think? I told you guys, this is the best five minute updo. It's like perfect for when like you're in a rush to head out and you have to like get dressed, you have to get your kids dressed. You can literally just pop your hair into this hairstyle and you are good to go. I never wear this much jewelry, but my girlfriend at Bangles like hooked me up. I will leave the link for her jewelry down below in the description. And also this gorgeous outfit. Uh, you'll probably see like a better view of it on my Instagram page, um, which is also in the description down below. If you guys aren't following that, make sure you do. Um, this outfit is from Falak E. Noor, the Pakistani designer. I will also leave the link for her outfits um, down below in the description for you guys. I wish we had more reasons to dress like this. Like, does it only have to be for special occasions? Like imagine if we could just dress like this all the time because I freaking love it. All right guys, um, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me some love in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.